who is the strongest chess player in the world? No. Нет. Nine. Нетушки. Категорически нет. No. Никак нет. Not them. Them. Or any of them. Him? No. Not King Conan. Or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nein. Not even world champion Magnus Carlsen. Not even the queen, Beth Harmon. If you want to know the answer, subscribe to this channel for free. The strongest chess player in the world is not a him or a her. It is Lila. Lila Chess Zero or abbreviated as LC Zero. Swedish rating list in July 28, 2021, estimated Lila Chess Zero to have an ELO rating of 3581. The ELO rating systems calculates the relative skill levels of players based on the strength of their opponents. It is named after its creator Arpad Elo, a Hungarian-American physics professor and chess player. Compare this to the highest ratings of human super grandmasters. Lilo Chess Zero is a freely distributed, open source, and neural network based chess engine. Lilo was adapted from Google's AlphaGo Zero and AlphaZero projects on chess and the Japanese board game, Go. Lilo learns chess by playing millions of games against itself, with only the basic rules of the game. This repeated self play is called reinforcement learning. And just to exhibit the disparity between humans and computers, note that as of 2020, Lilo Chess Zero had played over 300 million games against itself, and is capable of competing against Stockfish, the strongest traditional chess engine. Imagine this. Magnus Carlsen is listed having played at least 3,000 games in chess databases. It could be more actually, but certainly not more than a million. Since he has been playing chess for 22 years, he had to play 124 games every day to get to 1 million games. Now, you can also claim that Stockfish 14 is stronger. True, Stockfish already defeated Lila Chess Zero in the past four seasons of Top Chess Engine Championships since July 2020. But, come to think of this, Gary Linscott, the computer programmer who developed Leela, is also one of the developers of Stockfish. In fact before the Super Final of Season 21 in December 2020, Stockfish developers trained an NNU8 that made use of Leela's evaluations. Also, as early as August 2020, Stockfish has been using NNUE already. What is NNUE? NNUE means Efficiently Updatable Neural Network. The reverse acronym will only make sense if you knew that NNUE was invented by a Japanese, Yu Nasu. Without having to dive deep into many max search algorithms and virtual neurons, the simplest way to explain what NNUE is to simply know that it improves the efficiency of finding the best move via the CPU, without the need for data transfers with a graphics processing unit or GPU. Rise of the Machines Equally as valid, we can also say that, Alpha Zero is the strongest chess program for the obvious reason that its core algorithm found its way into Leela Chess Zero and Stockfish 14. The bottom line is, computer chess engines are now more powerful than human grandmasters. But wait, how did this happen? How did we even start to pit our wits against computers? Based on mythology and recorded history, man has always been obsessed with creating robots, that can talk or act like us, humans. From Talos, the bronze giant of Greek mythology, to the Tin Man and Wizard of Oz, to Robocop, R2-D2 and C-3PO, the list goes on. In 1769, Baron Wolfgang von Kamplen introduced a wooden, purportedly self-operating chess-playing android or automaton, called the Turk in the court of Empress Maria Theresa of Austria. Android is not your smartphone, but another term for a robot. It was claimed to have defeated the likes of Napoleon Bonaparte, Benjamin Franklin, and Catherine the Great during 50 years of exhibition games, before it was discovered to be a hoax. The machine housed a human chess player inside a hidden compartment where he observed the chess board somehow, and manipulated the Turk. The Turk operators must have been good chess players as it defeated many opponents reportedly. 
while the turret was in fact operated by a human chess player, the spark of ingenuity in its mechanics and illusion would have sustained through decades the fascination for a robot or artificial intelligence beating humans in the game of chess. The popularity of the mechanical Turk inspired similar imitations like Ajib, the Egyptian. Considered to be a strong blindfold chess player, Harry Nelson Pillsbury was thought to be the operator behind Ajib in the 1890s. Finally in 1912, Leonardo Torres Cavado created a real automaton, El Hedrasista, translated the chess player, which was capable of playing rook and king versus king and games using electromagnets. We could consider it as a raw precursor to Deep Blue. The Fall of Men Fast forward into the age of computers and the World Wide Web. 1996 was a good year. It was the year Braveheart was released. And, it was also the last year human grandmasters would beat computers in chess matches under regular time controls. Garry Kasparov defeated Deep Blue in 1996. 1997 was pivotal. An improved version of Deep Blue crushed then world champion Kasparov in Game 6 to win the match dubbed as Man vs. Machine. In 1998, Rebel 10 defeated Viswanath and Anand, at the time, ranked second in the world, to a score of 5-3. However, six of eight games were blitz and rapid. Deep Fritz can evaluate 8 million positions per second, and defeated then world champion Vladimir Kramnik, scoring 4-2 in a six-game match. Since then, there has been no major human versus computer chess competition. And, since that time, Chess programs running on commercial computers and mobile phones are far more powerful than Deep Blue and have been able to beat even the strongest human players. Has technology killed chess? No, not at all. The power of computing has surpassed the memory capacity and breadth of calculation by the human chess player, for now. Despite the internet and chess engines, chess is ever popular today. Often studying through powerful chess engines, elite grandmasters are paid lots of money to compete in tournaments at the highest level. And we witness how they grew before our eyes over the years. Most of the super grandmasters grew another pair of eyes, while some hide their eyes like this. Chess, they say, is a gentleman's game. Indeed, some grandmasters grew beards gently, some grew their hair long, and some lost them rather gently. And while being a professional chess player could lose you your crown and glory, losing your sanity is the saddest part of the story. Chess could be insanely complex. It is indeed, if you fancy there are 300 billion moves to consider after the fourth move. Perhaps in trying to demystify chess through the use of technology or artificial intelligence, we often forget that chess is a game, and not a problem to solve. And in the game of chess, spectator or player, win or lose, we play to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Thank you for watching.